Yo guys, welcome back to me, PC Chio Battle Stars video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the brand new Necrozma V today. Pairing it with Porygon Z, this was requested by a subscriber, so shout out to the person who requested the idea. Now, I will say in this video, a bit of a bloopery type of moment. Um, throughout all my matches, I only played three rare candy in my deck. For some reason, I forgot to put the fourth rare candy in the deck. Um, so I added this in for... Uh, I cut out a tool scrapper, but the games I got with this deck were just really damn good, and I did not feel like re-recording the video because I got pretty good matches with the deck. Like, the games were pretty intense. One game, I had a pretty good comeback or, like, a pretty good, like, scenario, so I didn't want to re-record this video, so, yeah, the, the video, I only had three candies instead of four. Didn't really affect the deck that much um, outside of just making it harder to find the rare candy Porygon, but it is what it is. So I cut a tool scrapper. Four fourth rare candy, so hope you're happy. But yes, this is Necrozma with Porygon. Necrozma's attack does 220 damage if you have any special energy on. So of course, Horror Energy, Recycle Energy, Aurora Energy, they all count for Necrozma's special laser. And it's like Victini VMAX, but uh, it can hit anything for 220. So before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, uh, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. So you guys are looking to pick up any set code, whether it be... Battle Styles, Shiny Fates, Vivid Voltage, Dark of the Blaze, Stone Shield Base Set, Cosmic Eclipse, Unified Minds, Unbroken Bonds, Team Up, whatever you're looking for, get them over there. And if you're looking for a specific promo code, GX or V code, Sleeve code, ETB code, uh, or the ADP Zation Battle Arena code or PikaRom one, get over at Card Cabin. Get any codes over at Card Cabin, of course, at the checkout. Use code LDF, 45% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF. Also, if you guys want to check out the video articles I've been posting over there, uh, deck profile videos, uh, let me know uh, any improvements I can make on them. Uh, any feedback would be great. So let's look at the list. So yeah, once again, recorded the video with only three rare candy in the deck. The games I got were really good. Didn't want to re-record it because I think the games were really nice. And um, I didn't, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, so yeah, this was recommended by a subscriber. Now, I do apologize. I do forget what video and who said it. Um, but whoever did, big shout out to you. If you watch the video, please leave a comment so I can pin it. Um, but Necrozma Special Laser Attack. Doing 220 damage is really good. Now, 220 is actually kind of relevant. That's enough damage to knock out Zacians in one hit. Uh, you're KOing Dedenes and Crobats with, like, a boss. But 220 just puts a massive chunk of damage in your opponent. And you can actually make this damage go a bit higher thanks to Horror Energy, which if your opponent damages you, they take the 20 damage. We do have Cape of Toughnesses in the deck also. So then Necrozma has 270 HP, which makes it even harder to KO. Cape was actually pretty good in this video. You'll see. The only other attacker is Double as like a nice late game sweeper card. Um, I am playing Power Plants in the deck for the Urshifu and Mewtwo matchup. Of course, Necrozma can just clean house on those cards thanks to Power Plant, you know, just making it so that special laser just completely obliterates them when Power Plants in play. So I'm playing a couple plants. Um, got Zacian in the deck for the setup. Um, trying it out. You know, Zacian and State Shoe decks can be kind of cool. Then we got Crobat Dene. Uh, Guru in the deck. Uh, Guru can be kind of cool to conserve resources. Um... Going to the energy now. I am playing four Roras, four Horrors, and th two Recycle, uh, and three Psychic Energies. Just two attack when it crosses. The basic Psychic is fine, because you can attach for turn, go like double Horror, right? Or like, you know, attach Psychic a turn earlier, and then you're like kind of ahead in the game. And the Psychic Energy is nice, because uh, it can't, can't get discarded by like Band of Waves or Giratina, which sometimes can be relevant. It's also just another way to power up Necrozma a lot quicker. Because if we were just using four Horror and four Aurora, it would not be very easy to power up Necrozma throughout the entire match. So having a couple extra Psychics could be good. Now, you might be asking, why is there no weak card energy? Necrozma's weak to Dark. You get Body by Eternatus. Doesn't matter. You get Body by it anyways. You can only go up to 270 HP. Eternatus will always destroy you whether or not, you know, you have a weak card on because you only have 270 HP with a cape on or 220. Eternatus doesn't need, you know, they just fill their bench up and Necrozma won't even stand a chance. So weakness card will not make a difference in that matchup. So that's why I'm not playing it. Um, the only other energy I'd consider playing is a capture energy or two. But yeah, this is the list I got. Once again, three weird candies in the video. It is what it is. There were some moments in the video where I was like, where's my rare candies at? But I didn't even I didn't even realize I only had three in the deck. But uh, let's go get in those matches and check it out. Again to our first match. My opponent is playing a Welder deck and they won the coin flip. So they're going to let me go first, which is very generous of my opponent. Now, the problem is we need to get a good start. We're up against a fire deck. We need to hope we also don't get donked, which could be a big issue. We'll see if it's Victini or not. Victini VMAX is kind of a scary matchup because they can just one shot you, which is pretty annoying. We both do 220 damage, though, so we'll see what happens. Let's see what we get here. All right. We got a Muonization start. I actually don't mind this because we get Intrepid Sword and go from there. I do want to get a Porygon, but I also want to get Necrozma down this turn. Ooh, we mulliganed a lot. That's not good. 
Oh, there we go. We got the Necrozma. So we'll calm the Porygon back in the deck for the Porygon. Just check the deck real quick. We got the Necrozma. We did prize our Dedene. We have three candies. We prized a rare candy. We have both our plants. We prized two of our Marnies. Okay. And we prized an air balloon. We prized a cape. And we didn't... I uh, think we prized one energy maybe. Not sure. We could attach the active, I guess. And just do Psy Power. That could be relevant, actually, with uh, Special Laser. So I think I'll do that. And then we'll Intrepid Sword. Got the Porygon. We didn't get the rare candy to go with it, though. We have um, a cape, though. Cape's not bad. We can play the cape here and try to salvage ourselves. We'll see. Is this going to be... If it's Senna Scorch, we'll see how that goes. It, Senna Scorch could be winnable. No, Rushy's hard. Okay, this is fine. Because I can put 30 damage on it. Puts it to... 240 HP, and then one whore energy with a special laser will knock them out. They're playing a green Zard deck. Oh my goodness, they are playing green's rushy Zard. Okay. There's the crushing hammer. I knew they were going to get that garbage. Fortunately, they do play hammers, which is going to be a little annoying, not going to lie. Especially if we, because my game plan is this can get knocked out with whore energy. The math kind of works in our favor there, so. Crushing hammer is going to be a very fun time for sure. Very fun. Cannot wait to deal with Crushing Hammer. If we can get a cape on the Anacrosma here, the Reshi's Art cannot one-shot me with Flare Strike. There's a plant. That's a good draw. And we'll Quick Ball away. Kind of want to keep the Tool Scrapper because they could play Big Charm, but I think we want to just do this. I'm going to get a Ranguru. We're, we're going to do this. We're going to play the plant. We're going to Wisdom the Porygon on top. That's a rare candy, I swear. Watch it be a rare candy one time. Okay, good. Mm. We'll Marnie them. Let's we'll see what we get here. Oh, we didn't get the rare candy Porygon. No. Now we can't do the Mew play I wanted to do because we have to Intrepid Sword again. Still no rare candy. Oh my goodness. Finding this rare candy is going to be a pain. I already can tell. <laughs> I can already tell. <laughs> oh my gosh, rare candy. The annoying thing is they can knock them out Volcanion now. Oh, they play Vitality Band. That doesn't make a difference though. I guess what we could do, we could go Prismatic Ray here for 20. Getting the side power off would have been really nice, but this game was like, nope, you're not getting the Rare Candy Porygon today. What we'll is that the research and put the Rare Candy on top? There's that hammer. They're going straight for the hammer. They're actually going to switch, which is very interesting. Hey, okay, that's a nice Tails. Do they have a Gust? They could Gust me here. That would be annoying. I don't know why they're taking the knockout, though. Um, my Mew with Outrage, or... They have, they have that boss in their hand. They're not even gonna KO me? Wait, what? What was the point of that? Alright, I'll take it. Um... Hmm. Kind of faced with a tough decision here. We got the bench this. Um... We can Wisdom a card on top of the deck. We can do this. Wisdom this on top. I think we just research here. Yeah, we do lose our cycle energy, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Still no rare candy Porygon. Jeez Louise. I really want to get the side power off, but we need to get this Porygon, so we're going to Intrepid Sword again. <laughs> no rare candy. Oh my gosh. We can't find Skyla either, which sucks. I mean, we don't even have enough energy to attack with Special Laser next turn. But, uh, yeah, we are not getting lucky here. We really need to find this rare candy ASAP, or else we might end up losing the game. If we don't find this rare candy soon, we're not going to be able to stop this freaking Reshizard. It's going to be, oh, there's a catcher. There's a heads. They're going to knock out the organization, which is actually fine. Um, I don't mind this, but it's not good. <laughs> it's still not good. All right, we need rare candy. We only have three in the deck, so I know it's not like insane odds, but yeah, we really need to get one. If we don't get a rare candy, we're done for. Marnie would be good here too. There we go. We finally got it. And we do have enough energy to attack thanks to Recycle Energy being on the Mew, so there you go. Last minute top deck. Let's go into the Necrozma. We have the Cape on. So the Cape of Toughness, if we hit them for 220 damage here, they'll have... They'll be doing 250, 260. Outrage, I think, does knock me out here if we attack them. 
Then we go stamped to... Going with like double maybe. We could just knock out the Volcanian, but that's like kind of kind of bad. Yeah, Outrage is gonna knock me out, right? I hit them for two twenty. Yeah, they knock. Well, we have two hundred seventy HP, right? It's like two twenty. They're doing plus forty. I guess yeah, maybe they don't knock me out actually. I think we do still want to go for the attack play. Can't really think of anything better to do. Um, no supporter. Not good. Still Crowbat in the deck, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I think we want to get double. Should have put the Porygon on top, but whatever. We want to get the double down here, I think. We can stamp them now to four so they can't get another Reshizard powered up, but... I don't... I'd rather them knock me out and then we stamp them to four. We hit them for 220 damage. They're doing plus 40. That's 260. Okay. We'll special laser them. They could just knock me out with double blaze, though. So maybe we should just reset stamp them there, but... If they do KO me, we can attempt to attack with double. Or we can knock him out with Mew. And then we go down to one prize. And they go down to one prize when Mew gets knocked out. And then we have double doing 270 damage. So maybe that works out a little bit better, to be honest. No, bro. They play a Malolana. Okay. Well, at the very least, they can't knock me out now. And we have boss in hand. So that's actually perfectly fine. As long as they don't play Crushing Hammer here and get ahead. So this is actually totally fine. I'm assuming they're going to go High Heat Blast. Okay, that's actually perfect. As long as we keep our energy on, we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay, they do have the Zard, but they can't power it up this turn. And yeah, they're just going to Flare Starter. Okay, this is a huge turn for us. That was actually kind of perfect. All right, what do we draw? Crobat, that's not bad. Um, they could play Tool Scrapper, so I kind of want to be conservative with my capes. We still have another one in the deck, though, but... I guess double can't get one shot by rush start anyways, right? Even well, no, they do have the vitality band. They could play another one. So let's just boss knock this out. Um, wisdom, the bat on top of the deck. Energy. There we go. So we'll we'll save that for next turn. All right, screw it. We'll play the cape. Play the air bloom while we're at it. We'll knock them out. Maybe stamp the four would have been good, but they have five cards. It's not really. I don't think it really makes a difference if we stamp the four or not. All right, let's take our prizes here. We get a Marnie huge card. We get a Dedene. That's not bad either. There's an energy that's really good. The power plant will probably end up um, getting bumped. So the Dendene we can use in the late game because they still have a bunch of hearts left. We'll see if this last Necrozma can clean the game up for us. The math is kind of decent. If we get another horror energy on it, we're doing 260 in total. Uh, but the math kind of works out in our favor. They go, like, if they hit me with Reshizard here, uh, after we special laser, they have, you know, they take the 20, they have 240 in damage, and then Mew can kind of clean them up, so... The math is kind of working out in our favor here with Necrozma and Mew combined, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, there's a crystal. We'll see what they do here. Uh, we are going to Marnie them. They didn't get a welder off the green. That is... Maybe they don't have a welder. They still can't one-shot this guy, so... My boy Necrozma is just going to be tanking for a very long time. Well, no, I guess they can go... They can go attach... Flare starter. They could... I guess they can still double blaze me. Maybe we could uh, kind of want to go Mew, not going to lie. Mew would be good, because if we break that prize trade, that would be good. Okay, let's put that on. We can just boss. We could boss the Breaks Art, actually. This is our last boss's order, though. Is it really worth wasting? This is our very last boss. I don't really want to give it up just yet. We can boss the Reshi's Art here, smack it for 220 damage. I guess that's fine, right? But that's our last boss. And then they can go... But they can't go Breaks Art this turn. But they can Crimson Plane. Do, is it really worth it to waste this last boss? Or is it better just to hold the boss here, right? But they can still double Blaze. They still also need to move the Volcanian, right? They need three energy on this guy. And they need to move the Volcanian too. So... Hmm. Let's just power this up. So maybe the better play here is to go... Marnie and then preserve the boss like I think we just want to keep the boss around right because uh, wasting it just feels bad I mean they could just attack me and then we just finish them off with double anyways so maybe that kind of just works out in our favor anyways maybe we, d wasting this boss feels so bad we do have Mew though still to clean things up so maybe you know what maybe we actually do go for the boss play let's do it maybe it is actually worth it to just get the boss here we'll see if it pays off or not I mean they sent a sad face so maybe they don't have a way to get around this 
Because the problem with this is, is now they're just going to power up this thing instead, right? If that... Okay, great potion. That's fine. Still getting hooked up by double or necrozma here. Yeah, see, now they go here. There's a welder. Oh! They... Okay, that's good. They actually had a knockout with double blaze. Right? They they can go giant hearth, knockout, double blaze. Uh, but then they we, they lose, probably. That's assuming we don't whiff energy, which we could. I mean, we've used up a few of them. And we still have a Dedenne and a Bat and a Marnie to work with. But yeah, this is what I was worried about. Now they're going with the break start, but that can't one shot me. And then what we can do is we can go hit for 220. They go. Oh, never mind. We just win. Okay, never mind. I was I overthought. They could have went to Volk there, but they didn't have that play. But here we go. Special laser for the knockout. 220 damage. There you go. Pretty easy stuff. Just like playing Victini V Max. There you go. All right, cool stuff. Hey, we got a pack to open up. All right, did they? Okay, I'm actually curious. Okay, I was never, I was gonna say I'm curious. Do they have a tool scrapper in their deck? That's why I was like kind of... Tool Scrapper could have made all the difference there. Because Cape of Toughness was kind of saving our lives. Alright, let's open up that Rebel Clash pack. And we're going to pull a Fuller Boss's Order or a Dragapult VMAX. And... Or a Bolton. Those are like the big cards you want to get. Bolton, Dragapult, and Boss's Order Full Art. No, we got a Butterfree and a Boss. No. Alright. Alright, getting into another match with the Porygon deck. Alright, we've won the coin flip again, which is pretty good. See what we're up against. Looks like a grass stack. Could be egg grab, but it also could be Mewtwo. Which, if it's Mewtwo, that's also pretty good because we are playing a psychic deck at the end of the day. And we have Power Plant for the Jirachi. All right, let's see. What's it going to be? Yep, it's a. Ooh, but it's a rare candy build. This might be like Delmize or Rillaboom V Max. We'll have to see. All right. We have a pretty good start, though, at least. Um, if we can draw into a Porygon, I wouldn't mind going Zacian here. Guru's pretty good. Okay. Stamp. Okay, let's put that on in case they attack me. Bench the Guru. Quick ball away the boss, I guess. And then grab Porygon. I mean, it's not the worst hand ever, I guess. We can make it work. Wisdom this on top, I guess. What's it going to be? Another cape. Put that on. I don't think they play Tool Scrappers, so let's just put that on. We're up against a Delmize VMAX deck. How do we beat this? We actually need to make sure we have Mew in the deck. I should have checked because Mew's important because they can anchor anchor my Porygon if we don't evolve it. All right. But I guess if they do that, we're already going to be attacked with Special Laser. They can't one-shot me either. The cape is really clutch here. Ooh, they're taking that 30 damage. So, we have a chance to win this game. We just need to find... Uh, wait, this is kind of a waste of a cape, I guess. I'm not going to conserve it. We're just going to research. I'm not going to attach anywhere either. We just need Porygon Z. Yeah, it didn't happen. Did not happen. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Can we get a Pokemon? Prismatic Ray. Now our Porygon gets sniped by Delmize VMAX. But if that happens, we still have the Necrozma here. But the only problem is, this is a 30 damage. It actually sets up perfect math for Anchor Anger. So if they get a Grookey down here, they can go knock out Porygon and then knock out the Necrozma next turn. Yeah, this is really bad, actually. Well, it's not bad. We can still go make him knock another Necrozma. And then they have to go through a double, I guess. But this is not ideal for us. Oh, but they lose two candies. That's good. Wish I had a power plant there. That would have been really nice. Yeah, they got the Grookey. Yeah, this could be a bit of an issue, guys. I'm not going to lie. We might be in a bit of a tight spot. Unless they don't knock out my Porygon here. Right, they can choose to not knock out Porygon. They could just hit my active for 60, which doesn't make a difference. They already set up the perfect math anyways. They can just snipe knock out Porygon. Then we need to get another Porygon in play. We're not drawing a Pokemon, so that won't work. Oh! Okay, interesting. They're going to hide behind the Dedenne. Okay, so 290 HP. They kill me with Max Anchor next turn. We'll have... Um, we go 220. They have 70 HP. Nah. The Horror Energy doesn't make a difference with the Recyclon. Just Marnie them. Okay, let's see. Can we get the Porygon down? We don't really need it now because they're probably just going to knock me out, but still. We got double. We have Crobat. We have to lose our last boss, though. I guess we can go Wisdom the boss on top and then see what this gets us. Crosma. We don't really kind of need that. But I do want to try to dig here. I think we do have to dig, so I'm just going to go here. Get rid of this. Let's grab Crobat. And we'll just bat. Nice, we got the Porygon. Yeah, we definitely want to get that down now. They could boss knock it out, but then they still have to go through the Necrozma, so it's fine. 
we, we are in top deck mode, but getting these getting this prize is actually really good. Um, okay, let's just power up this Necrozma here, too, just in case. Just in case. We'll save the Aurora Energy, obviously. All right, cool. Take the KO. Now we just got to knock out the Dalmize, and then we just knock out Rillaboom or Crobat. Another energy. Can we get a supporter, please? No, we got a Mew, which is actually still good, though. Not going to lie. That's still kind of decent. We want to get our next cape here, so we can put this on the Necrozma, though, so we don't get one shot. But we are in a pretty good spot right now, I want to say. We're not, like... We're technically going... Like, we're pretty far ahead in the prize race, especially if they don't get a Rillaboom down. They're down two candies, right? And a Rillaboom, so we'll see if they actually get it. They can get a Thwacky here. The less time they get the Rillaboom in play, the better. Okay, nice. So just a Thwacky, which is not a Rillaboom. We'll see what they end up doing here. We're probably just going to see a knockout with Max Anchor. I can't imagine they're going to do anything else. Yeah, I'm just going to Max Anchor KO me. Let's see what happens next. So they have 270 HP. So we can't really set up any crazy numbers on them. So let's we'll see we top deck here. Dene is really good. Okay. We do kind of need the Mew, though. But I do want to get this cape. So I think we're just going to have to ditch the Mew. The Mew is just not going to be used this game, unfortunately. We kind of need the Mew. We do we even have the other cape in the deck, I guess. We should have checked. Yeah, it's in there. We can still rip it. Here we go. Cape of Toughness. No. Well, I guess I can do Max Anchor anyways, but... Didn't get much anyways off of this. So let's go Power Plant so they can't get Rillaboom. We'll do this for... Doesn't really matter, right? Put that on top. I don't know. Doesn't really matter what I do. Boss. Okay. I guess we could put the other Horror Energy on. Hit them for 220. They'll have 40 HP left. No, but they'll have 50 HP. So the Horror Energy won't make a difference. Hmm. I guess just probably they don't have a Switch card. Not much else I can do about that. So if we put a Horror Energy on the Necrozma here, we'll have... We hit them for 220. They'll go down to 250 HP. The two horrors will only do 40. They'll still live, unfortunately. At 330 HP, bro. It's insane. So we just save the horror energy, I guess. Is there... I guess... I guess... There's still... I guess we could still... Prismatic Ray, I guess. There's no reason not to play it, right? We still have other Necrozma? We do. I guess we can save it. I don't... I don't think it's going to make a difference. Let's just... Let's just smack them. Yeah, let's just hit them. I mean, they need to find a switch here and an energy to attack me, and they're probably going to have it, so... This is why I really wanted to get the, um... Really wanted to get the cape here so we can live a turn. Living a turn would have been so good. Um, I guess they can always go swinging chain on Guru, but then they walk into a double for, like, max damage. So, that would have been fine if they took that there. Oh, they got the Rillaboom. No, dude. They are still planted, so they don't have a way to go in and... If they don't have a way to go into this other Delmise, they can hard retreat, but they need another energy. So we'll see if they have it. Yeah, this is not good, guys. We're, we're probably going to lose this game if we don't find that Cape of Toughness. We still have a bunch of supporters left in the deck. All right, do they have anything in their hand here to pop off? If not, I think we might have a chance of winning. We're very close. Like, we just got knocked out Delmise and then Rillaboom. We need the cape, though. Like, if we don't get the cape, we're going to lose. We're going to lose the game if we don't get a cape here. I guess having Mew is good, because I guess one thing they could do, they knock me out with Delmize, and then they can go Rillaboom, Swinging Chain, knock out Dedenne or Crobat. Yeah, I think we might actually lose this game here, to be honest. This is not looking good. Things can still kind of work out in my opponent's favor, not going to lie. My opponent can still very easily win the game with Swinging Chain on my bench Dedenne or Crobat. Uh-oh. Yeah, this one might not, this might not be possible. If the math was a bit better in our favor, I feel like with Horror Energy, maybe we could have had a better chance, but they need to have, if they knock me out with the other Dalmize on the bench, I think the game is over. There's a Broken Heart. Do they not have it? If they don't have it here, Necrozma's, oh, let's go. Let's go. They hit my active, which is kind of smart. All right, I think we're winning this one now, guys. I think we are going to win this. We'll put the boss on top in case we get Marnied. Then we'll just take the knockout here with Special Laser. And this should be game. We just win next turn by killing Rillaboom. I think we did it. We took down Delmize. Let's see what our prizes are. Quick Ball for Crobat. That's a good card. Another energy. Yeah, I think we're going to win this one, guys. So let's see if my opponent has anything. 
They can knock me out here, of course, with Max Anchor. We go double, then we go boss, because we put on top of the deck. I guess they don't know I have a boss, so we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. The only way they can win is to stamp me to one. That's their only way to win. And then stamp to one, hope I don't find a way to go Crobat. We still have Guru. We still have... Why do, how many ball surges do we have left? Two quick balls, most of our comms. Okay, that's not bad. Oh no, we don't have Crobat anymore. Never mind, I forgot it's on the bench. Derp. All right, never mind. Hold on, that's actually not going to work. Never mind, I completely forgot we actually benched Crobat. Whoops. So stamp to one would ruin me here. That would actually be pretty bad. Stamp to one, unless we get super lucky. Yeah, we probably lose if we get stamped here, actually. We'll see what ends up happening. Boss? On my double? Okay. That doesn't make a difference. That's still game over. Okay. We got him. Whew, interesting match against Delmice VMAX. Kind of a close game. If my opponent got the knockout that turn earlier there, I think we would have lost the game. Now we could just go boss's order on the Rillaboom, knock it out with special laser, and we take down a Delmize VMAX deck with Necrozma V. Necrozma V takes down Green's Reshizard and also Delmize Rillaboom. Pretty decent matches there, I would say. So we'll do one more game, I guess. Hey guys, get another match. I think we're playing against, unfortunately, ADP. And y'all know how ADP is when you uh, try to play a, a fun deck. But we'll see. Okay. This is a pretty banging opening hand, not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know if I want an Intrepid Sword, though, to be honest. It's tempting. Nah, we'll probably go for it. Ooh, Power Plane. That's really... I'm gonna put that down right away. Just Intrepid Sword. I'm not gonna bench double. We're just gonna Intrepid Sword. We could get a Calm. We get the Porygon, but we get no Rare Candy or a Skyla to go with it. Oh, boy. Not ideal. That's fine, though. We'll see if this is ADP or not. Oh, no! It's Tyranitar! No! Bro, we're weak to Dark! Oh, I didn't put a, I didn't play Weakness Guard because, like, the only Dark matchup you have to watch out for is Eternatus, but they already one-shot you no matter what, so it doesn't even matter if you play the Weak Guard or not. Oh my gosh, this is not good. To be fair, though, they only have 230 HP, so it's actually, we can easily KO them in return. It's gonna be a bit of a back-and-forth one-shot game. Wait, what? They're playing Reshizard? Wait, hold on. Well, what am I playing against? Oh, they're using Welder. Oh. I thought they were playing ADP. They're using Welder to power Tyranitar. Hmm. Huh. That's actually pretty smart. They can't one-shot me this turn, though. They can do 160 damage. Mainly my top two cards is bad, because I know they're going to hit a rare candy, right? They're always going to hit candy here. Hmm. This might actually not be that great of a matchup. This thing is kind of kind of bad. Maybe they only play one, though. They play Houndoom 2. Oh, I kind of rate this deck. Welder with, like, single strike cards. I kind of rate it. Maybe he plays Mewtwo also. Oh, he got the net. Dang it. Oh, he goes Jirachi. Maybe, okay, best case scenario, he doesn't Kragalanch me this turn. But I guess he always kills me next turn anyway, so it doesn't make a difference, but... Hmm. He gets a stamp. Uh, I don't really care if he plays that, to be honest. That's fine. This hand, the, the, the hand wasn't that good, let's be honest. We didn't have the rare candy port gone. Nice, he didn't get the attack off. Beautiful. What do we draw? Okay, okay, here's what we can do. We can quick ball for Guru. Play the Aurora. Ball away the air balloon. Crobat. Can we get rare candy? All right, put the Porygon on top. And Marnie, and hope we get the rare candy Porygon. I mean, we don't need to even go for the special laser, but it would be nice. Rare candy Porygon, where are you at? Is it even worth it to attack Prismatic Ray here? Put that on there, I guess. Uh, we don't have the Dene, so I actually think we have to Intrepid Sword. Prismatic Ray, hitting this for 20 isn't bad, I guess, but... We have to Intrepid Sword, we have to try to get a better hand. Still no rare candy! Oh my gosh, where is my candy at, bro? Why are they so hard to find? Why are the rare candy so dang hard to find? What is this? We are gonna make him find that single strike to knock me out, though, so it's not too bad. 
Because, like, the thing is, they hit me anyways. They're going to take 20 damage from the uh, horror. So it's, like, not even a big deal. So we're already going to KO them if they attack me. So I don't actually have to Prismatic Ray. I do... I did kind of want to hit the Rushies are, though. It would have been nice to hit that for 20. Um, but I think I'd rather just build a better hand. And uh, unfortunately, it's not looking very good, though. Because we are just incapable of finding Rare Candy Porygon. <laughs> okay. Not the Mewtwo. They got the Wilderback. The Dene gets rid of a Fire Crystal. We'll see if they get the knockout here. They can't knock me out of the Reshizard, which is good. No, they get the single strike. They do have to mill for their own cards, though, which actually isn't terrible. And we can knock them out in return with Necrozma. If we get a cape on, then we can't get knocked out by Flare Strikes. This could kind of work out in our favor here. Let's see what they mill. Okay, they lose another Welder. Boss is a good discard. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Okay, if we can actually get this Porygon in play, we might actually have a chance of winning. We need to get cape and Porygon here. Uh, this could be pretty good. There's a Power Plant. Oh, I don't really want to play that. I mean, it's kind of the double show at this point. Yeah, I don't really want to play the plant here. Oh, we don't have the Denny anyways. Yeah, I'll just get double then, I guess. Let's go plant. We'll have to conserve one of these Porygons here. We need a lot, though, off this research. Stamp to four. That's decent. I'll take it. Stamp to four. The plant play could be pretty good. They are down a lot of switch outs. They're down two switch three nets. No research. Jeez, bro. Rare candy Porygon. Why are you so hard to find? Oh my god. This is kind of ridiculous. This is getting a little ridiculous. Okay. We'll let Guru sit in the active and we'll just Intrepid Sword. Still no rare candy. Why, bro? What is this, dude? All right, we have Skyla. It's fine. We can go Skyla. I mean, they knock me out. They knock on a crowd. They still have to take one more prize. So we can still win the game as long as they don't boss me this turn. They are down one boss, so they don't have Mewtwo anymore. So they have it. They have it. Stamp the four of the plan play. Pray they don't have the last boss in their deck to boss out. If they just boss me here, the game's pretty much over. But we'll see. Ah, oh, they have the stadium, but they can't bench a Dene right now, at least. So there's that. Looks like they drew a welder here. They can go for double blaze. Not getting the KO there is so bad, bro, because then they can't knock me out with Reshizard if we get a cape on, which, I mean, we didn't find the cape either, but still, it's like, we would have been in a pretty good spot had we got the knockout there. Like, oh man, playing stage two decks, bro. All I feel is pain. All I feel is pain when I'm playing stage two decks in standard. They do have the mill four of their cards, though. No, nope, there's their last scoop up net. That's pretty good. We don't have our stamp anymore, which kind of sucks. Okay, what do we draw? I swear, it's an absolute cock tease, bro. <laughs> chill, game. Absolutely chill. All right, here's what we can do. We can just load a bunch of energy on a Necrozma. A bunch of horror energies. I don't know if this makes a difference, but I'm going to say it does. We could Marnie them. I actually don't think that's correct, because my opponent didn't play a Welder last turn. So I actually don't want to play Marnie. I mean, they have Jirachi, but they are down four nets and two switch. So I actually don't really think we want to play this this uh this Marnie here. I think we just take them out. I do want to get Cape on though, but they're always gonna knock me out. Oh maybe okay, no, here's what we'll do. Skyla for Cape, actually. We'll Skyla for the Cape. I think that's actually a bit better. I would have Skyla for Stamp if it was in the deck, but Skyla for the Cape, so they can't knock me out with Flare Strike, and they have to go for the Yeah, this is fine. They have to try to hit a double blaze to knock me out here. And if they do that, they take a bunch of damage and then we knock them out double. Okay, maybe we can still win this actually. Hold on. Great catcher, good prize. We, okay. <laughs> a little bit too late in the game to get the thing down, but I think a comeback is possible. Even though we don't have stamp anymore, we can still make a comeback. They have to specifically double blaze me this turn. Um, to to But if they do that, they get knocked out in return by the horror energy double. Assuming we don't whiff the energy. Oh, they had the welder, so I should have Marnied them. Oh, but they built up Tyranitar. Oh, this is huge. Unless they play a tool scrapper. Oh, they could have a boss in their hand, I guess. But they don't get a single strike energy on the Tyranitar, then they can't even knock out Necrozma the following turn. Because they can go boss, knock out Crobatterization with double blaze. No, but they can't even do that because they've got rather Welder. And if they do an escape rope, we'll just bring in double because they can't get one shot. Yo, I think we're big chilling. I think we're big chilling. I think we actually might have a chance of winning this. They do have nine cards left, so... Maybe we can deck them out if they, we trap something. 
Yeah, we might actually still win this game. Maybe they just didn't have enough energy to double blaze, right? I think maybe that was the case, right? Did they just not have enough energy? They're down four, seven, nine. Nine fire, four single strike. That might be their energy count. Yeah, maybe they just didn't have enough energy to, to finish me off. There's a Dedenne. Oh, doesn't really make a difference though. They have three cards left now. Now they can't even do Tyrantar's second attack unless it wins them the game. But if we get a cape on the double, then they can't one-shot double, even with a single strike energy on. I think we're vibing. They they the only they have to play a tool scrapper to stop me here. And bro, I swear, if this man plays a tool scrapper, bro, I'm actually done. Nice. Let's go. I think we're gonna win this now, guys. We just knock out the Reshi's art, of course. We just need to make sure we power up double. Gonna be too hard to do. Let's quick ball, thin out the deck a little bit. We have you know, we have bear energy. Is it even worth it to play Marnie here? They're out of single strike energy too. I think we hold the hangs. We have boss. Or we can great catcher go double next turn. I guess we're winning with double anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is thin in case of a stamp to one. The only way they can win this is to... If they have to play a tool scrapper. Yo, this comeback might be possible. Say it ain't so. There's an energy. That's good. Denny's good too. Okay, that does help us if we do get stamped to one. Even though I did just get rid of a quick ball. Yo, this comeback might be possible. Like, they're out of single strike energy. I guess one thing they could do is like... Nope, that's not going to work. All right, I think we got him. I think we got him. We can't one-shot them with special laser, but we have boss, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, that's just game over. All right. GG's. Nice. We just swept him with a Necrozma. Love to see it. And that'll wrap the video, guys, on the Necrozma Porygon deck. Um, that last game was really... I, I, You know, credit to my opponent for a pretty unique idea. I I rate that. That's a really cool way to play single strike. I rate the idea. Okay, so it came to my attention. I recorded that entire video with only three rare candy in my deck as opposed to four no wonder why I couldn't find it that easily. I only had three in the deck. All right, you know what? I think those games that I got were pretty good anyways. I don't really want to re-record the video. I got some pretty good matches with this deck, so I'm not going to re-record it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 16,000 subscribers, guys. I um, want to thank you guys for all the support and stuff on the channel once again. And uh, check out all the socials down below, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. Check out Car Cabin. Use Code LDF. All that good stuff. Bye-bye.